Hi guys, happy Saturday. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for being here. Sorry for the AC, it's super hot here in Florida, obviously. It's actually about to rain, so hopefully that'll cool things off. But I just got out of Cycle Bar, changed, put on a little bit of a face. I just did light makeup today. Um, and basically, that's like my everyday look because I don't wear a lot of makeup half the time. <laughs> Dry shampoo, the hair. This video is gonna be so exciting because I'm gonna go to the new Aritzia store. Hopefully you guys are gonna be seeing this like the day of, like I'm gonna post it tonight. That's like my goal. <laughs> um, first, as always, after a cycle bar, we're gonna get some Starbucks, but we're not gonna get my usual order. I wanna try the pineapple drink. And the reason why, I normally don't try drinks because like I don't wanna have the chance of not liking them because the chocolate one, I was not a fan of and they were like really nice about it and like made me like what I wanted. I typically don't try drinks because if I know I might not like it then I don't want to try the drink. But I like pineapple and I've seen like other people say it's really good and I did check. I'm gonna mobile order it. They do have it at this location which is good. Okay so now got the hair all pretty much tame for the time being. And I'm gonna insert like a little clip here because this morning I talked to you guys about like clothes I'm giving away and I am planning on getting some stuff from Aritzia if I like anything. Obviously, I think I'm gonna like stuff. So I'm gonna insert that here. I'm putting this in the Aritzia vlog because I already know that I'm probably gonna spend a lot more than I was anticipating to spend on this fun Saturday. I wanna show you guys some of the pieces I'm getting rid of. I'm like gonna donate them um, to like Goodwill. Some of them I actually got from a thrift store. Yeah, I like going thrifting, but I only really go with like my friend when she's in town. So I, I know like it's really bad, like I should thrift more, but like shopping at Aritzia, like how, kind of how I'm justifying this is that Aritzia is not fast fashion and I keep things for forever. Like there's tons of things in my closet right now that I've had since like 2017. Um, this I've had since 2019. I don't really like get rid of things, um, as weird as it sounds. I've had this since I was at Valencia. So I've had this since 2017. There's a lot of pieces that I've still had. And this is from Forever 21, like really big fast fashion. I don't know, there's just things in here that I've had for forever, like this sweater dress up there, like that blue thing with the white. I'm not like doing a good job pointing. This thing I've had, I think since, I don't know when. Like some of the stuff too I got second hand. This shirt I got second hand from somebody. This green dress I got second hand from somebody. Um, so there's just a lot of things that I've gotten hand-me-downs from. At this rate, as I've like gotten older, I don't go shopping for clothes a lot. Um, as you guys can see, like if you look at my hauls, if you type in like Alex Jane hauls, I don't when I go shopping, I just like drop a bunch of money and like buy a bunch of clothes and then I have them for years to come. So let me show you guys real quick. Okay, so first I'm gonna get rid of this. I love it so much and it looks so good with my Gucci belt. This thing, like my neck always pops it open and it's so annoying. I got this thrifted. It's such a good shirt, but again, now I know why they like got rid of it because it doesn't have a hook and eye up here. So, it's just annoying. Like throughout the day, I have to keep zipping it up. Oh my gosh, I love this shirt, but I want to get a new like blouse like this, um, but in a white color because sometimes like this will not match with some of my um, pants. I love it. It's from Luca and Gray. This, I love it, but like the buttons, I got this thrifted as well, but like the buttons are like falling off. Like look at this. So great shirt, doesn't really matter, but still like I wear this quite a bit and it's like already falling apart. Um, and then this I got on Amazon, who's gonna be the devil for Halloween, but obviously I changed like at the last minute. So I'm getting rid of this cause it's kind of ugly, too big for me and yeah. So I think I'm just gonna like donate that stuff. I know this clip's getting long, but also too, I have like this Fabletics thing that's like a little too small for me now. What I'm actually gonna do is make a little note on my phone of what pieces I'm kind of looking for. So I can just jot that down. Oh, 
Side note, I'm in my sports bra and stuff because I'm going to Cycle Bar this morning and I'm gonna, uh, yeah, go to Cycle Bar and then go to Aritzia. So that's why I know it's kind of random to sp splice in the video. But what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to make notes in my phone like I want a nice button down shirt. I want a nice white blouse kind of like similar to this one. And then I'm looking for a gray top. So like, I will go in there with like an idea of like what I'm looking for, at least so I'm not just like, what do I need? I don't know, I just like to have like intentions and like goals. So when I actually am looking for things, like I have a checklist, so I'm like, did I find this? Do I like the piece? You know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like that's a good tip too, so you're not just like, Oh, I like this. Because half the time, when I was little, okay, my mom would be like, oh, do you like it? I'm like, yeah, I really like it. And then she would buy it. And then I would never wear it. And she would get so pissed. So we had this conversation when I was little, like, okay, are you going to wear it? Like, this this happened, like, a lot when I shopped at Justice and stuff. <laughs> She's like, are you going to wear it? Do you love it? Like, she would spend any type of money, basically, on clothes if I was going to wear it. If I didn't wear it, she'd get, like, super mad. So... That's kind of like how I go into things like with my mindset now, especially when it's my money. So yeah, I'm just very particular, well, pretty much about everything in life, but um, when it comes to clothes as well, because I don't know, man, like this is a huge disappointment. I should have thought about that when I got that, even though that was like $7, still need to shop with more like intention and like just go into places with like a list. Okay, so I did come up with a list and I'm just gonna read it off to you now. So for clothes, I want a white top. I have so many bottoms, like, but I don't wanna wear the same white tops, the bottoms, you know what I mean? So could use some white tops, some cotton cropped button down, kind of like a, I don't know, it's like that blue thing I showed you. Um, a silk button down because I'm getting rid of the red one, a gray top, a spaghetti strap top because like I have like no summertime clothes. I have so many sweaters and stuff like that. Then I want some jeans because like all my jeans are kind of big on me like around the waist. So I just want, you know, a pair of blue jeans that fit me really well. I have one pair I think I got at JCPenney and I wear those like a lot more than my other ones I feel like. And then next up, I want white and blue high-waisted shorts. Maybe I won't find that stuff at Aritzia, but I just kind of put it on my list. Um, I'm not planning on going into a lot of other stores, but if it happens, it happens because I want this vlog to be like more focused on Aritzia. So that's what the plan is, but I have a little list here, so I kind of have an idea and I'm not just like, okay, I'm at the mall, like what do I do? You know, I just, I like having a game plan. Also, I really want to carry this with like my oversized tee. Like I just think it looks so good. But it's supposed to rain, so I think I'm gonna carry my large tote because I have my umbrella in it. Not that I, I love, I stink and love this thing. Like I use this every day. I love it. It's like holy grail bag, but it's just kind of large. And these are just so cute right now. So yeah, I don't know, guys. Anyway, let's get and try the Starbucks drink. Okay, so I got the pineapple um, refresher drink for the summer. I'm gonna try it. I'm so excited. I got a tall just in case like I don't like it, but everyone seems to really like it and I like pineapple. So um, yeah, I'm gonna try it. Mmm, that's really good very pineapple-y. If you don't like pineapple, I wouldn't get this, but it is so good. It's very refreshing. It's pretty strong, like I said. It kind of tastes like like a pineapple version of Kool-Aid, if, if that makes sense, but that's the best way I can describe it to you. It's a perfect drink for summer. I will tell you that. Okay, so we made it to the mall, walking in now, and I'm going to try to film a TikTok too, or Instagram reel, because those seem to be doing well. So yeah, I'm like working double. Uh, everyone, well, I got told like try to just use like the footage I get on my camera for the reel, but like, I don't know. I just think, I don't know. I don't like the huge crop that it leaves. So we're gonna just work double and hopefully it'll pay out at the end. I don't know, but anyway. Also guys, got my big tote. I just like, 
emptied a little so it's a little bit lighter. I decided to just use her and also I can just vlog on my camera which is so much easier than like phone clips and just everything. So anyway, let's get on and get to Aritzia. We made it, we made it. I am so excited, let's go on inside. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. I already got my little TikTok pan here, but guys, this is such a cute store. I don't know how I'm gonna control myself, probably not. Um, but yeah, everything's just so cute here. Like. talking because I'm just taking it in myself and also too I want to actually shop so I'm kind of just doing like an overview so look at how cute the dressing room is I'm gonna try on so nice stuff. The people here are like super, super helpful. I think this is mine. Yeah. Look at how much stuff. You're good. Thank you. Oh my gosh. All right. So try on the stuff. Basically try it on here and then you see it out here, which is kind of awkward, but it's okay. This is the first outfit. It's pretty cute. I really like it. The shorts are, I don't know if I'm going to go with the shorts or not. <laughs> Probably need a bigger size just because I thought they were going to be longer. Love, love, love this top. So cute. Freaking love this one. So cute. Okay, guys. So this is my yes pile. It's a little crazy we got going on here. I love everything pretty much. I didn't try this one on because like I just I already know I'm gonna get a lot of stuff. These are also yeses. This and then those and then that white top but I'm gonna ask for a medium in that one which I should do now. Love the Dean shorts and then this stuff on the side is they're like no. Okay, so these are all pieces I really, really like, but I'm gonna have to say no to because this is expensive. So I love this dress. It looks really good on, I showed you guys. Then the top version of that. Then I have this white tank, it's so comfortable. It's a cropped one. And then I have this black top. It's like $20, but still a little expensive. Then I have this one and I love this one so much. I might, I might get it, I don't know because if someone says like, oh, wear pink to like the party or something, like then I would have something because I want to get rid of that other one. Anyway, I don't know. And this black cardigan, I love this, but it's like over a hundred dollars. And then this skirt, like I really liked it, but I'm just gonna have to say no to that. I'm gonna tally up what I want. So I want this, great for work. I want that, great for work. And it replaced the other shirt that because I wanted something fun at this white tee that's perfect for work this one's just a blank shirt dress pants that actually fit me and then this white top so I don't know guys oh and these jean shorts I forgot okay so I put this one back because who's gonna help me zipper this up like when I'm getting ready for work at cycle bar so probably I mean I know I could ask someone but like that's the reason why I'm putting it back so I just like say I don't need it <laughs> but I also really really like this dress and it's so cute on like it makes me feel like Sarah Potato yeah you guys know I love her so I don't know I'm gonna have to go through this again and be like what do I want what do I not want okay so back in my car gonna have some lunch um, I just want to come back to my car because it was like kind of crowded in the mall and stuff. So I'm going to just chow down and after that I need to get gas. And then after that I will go home and show you guys everything I got and like kind of do a like try on haul and stuff. It's really rainy out, kind of depressing. I hope this car's not waiting for me because like I'm not going to be leaving anytime soon even though I have a good parking spot. So sorry. 
Okay guys, the best part of this video, the haul, the try on haul. So excited. First off, I wanted to show you guys what I picked up at Ulta. I stopped at Ulta because I needed some more makeup remover wipes. Then just like an extra little a living proof dry shampoo. If I can link all this stuff down below, I certainly will. Um, I don't know if like um, I can find all the pieces online, probably. I don't know, but if they're not there, don't hate me. Three stacks I have to unwrap. I'm gonna try to film some uh, content for TikTok uh, as well. So this is gonna be, this is gonna take a while, but it's, it's all fun, so. So first up, we have this dress and I absolutely loved how this looked on. I finally feel like really confident in my body. So it just shows off the shape really well. And I love the color. I think I already said this, but it reminds me of like Sierra Furtado and like when she like goes to those like fancy meals, I don't know, but it would look really cute with some like high heels or just like tennis shoes. Honestly, you can dress this up, you could dress this down and I just really love it. This is what the back looks like and yeah, just it does show every inch. So like if you were bloated, like I'm a little bloated right now. <laughs> But, um, it does show every inch, but honestly, like, I like the form fitting and you don't have to wear a bra with it, which is amazing. Next up, I got this cute green shirt. I don't know. I wanted something fun and I'm really not big into patterns. Like, I really like solid colored things. So I decided to go with this top. Again, you can not have to wear a bra with it and it's great. It does make me feel a little uncomfortable, but... I'll get used to it, whatever. Um, and then I picked up these jean shorts and they're really cute. They really suck you in. Like, I'm loving the vibe. But yeah, this is what the back looks like. And one of the girls that was helping me, um, she was saying how like this color looked really good on my skin tone, which is really nice. So yeah, I absolutely love this. And I don't know, it'll be really good to wear like summer events if like, you know, tomorrow we're going to Disney Springs, so maybe I'll wear it. I don't know. Whew, girl, your girl's bloated, man. <laughs> it's that time. And I'm happy, too, that I obviously got a pair of jean shorts that actually, like, fit me, so I don't have to, like, keep pulling in my jean shorts. So that's good. I might actually get rid of those other jean shorts, even though I love them so much. This is what this outfit looks like. And I already forgot to take a picture or a little video for the TikTok in the dress. So that sucks. We'll just start with this outfit. <laughs> okay, so I'm literally going to try on all the tops with the same jean shorts because I don't want to change that much. But I also got this top and I love it so much. Again, you don't need to wear a bra with it. It's very form-fitting. I might wear a bra with mine. I don't know. But I just want to show you guys the top. I saw this on the mannequin and it looks so cute. So I was like... Where did you get that? This is what the back looks like. I feel like I could wear this to work because it doesn't like show too much skin. So that's another reason why I got a lot of these pieces was I can wear them to work, but also I can wear them, like dress them down and wear them just to like out to eat or just wanna hang out with friends. So they're really versatile pieces, which I like because again, you guys know, I don't like shop a whole lot for clothes. So this top is amazing. I love it. Okay, so next up, I just got this black top, and I don't know, it's just a staple to have in the closet, and I don't have a tank top like this. I used to hate these types of, like, straps, but I don't know, the design on this one caught my eye, and it was, like, 20 bucks, so I decided to get it so I could wear it, you know, with jean shorts like this, or, I don't know, something good to have in the closet. Next up, we have this really oversized tee, and I love this so much because it's so soft. It has a little pocket here, and I don't know, I just really like the vibes on the shirt. I know it's so basic, but I just really liked it, so I decided to get it, because why not? I told myself I was not going to get t-shirts, but this one's like a baggy one, not form-fitting, and just, I don't know, it doesn't give t-shirt vibes, so... <laughs> I went with it because I liked it and it's comfortable, pretty basic, and really cute. And I could also wear this to work as well if I'm like dressing down. If it's like Friday, I could wear jeans, like black jeans with like my Gucci belt. I don't know, it just like, it's very versatile again. 
This looks almost exactly the same, but this is not oversized. Like this is not tucked in. This is literally just a white t-shirt, but it is so soft. And again, I don't have one of these like at all. So I just think it's good to have and I could wear like a blazer over it. There's just a lot of things I can do with like a white t-shirt like this. And I don't think it was too expensive. They're having like a big sale. So I just went ahead and bought this because I was there and I needed one. This is the next item I picked up because I just thought it was really cute and I like the color of it. It's like a tannish pinkish color, like peachy nude and it's really comfortable. I can wear it to work. Also, I can unbutton this and wear it like an overshirt, which is perfect because I bought this, which I can layer with. So I could just leave this unbuttoned and wear this. I think that would be a really cute outfit for fall if I wanted to go that route. Last but certainly not least, I got this beautiful like silk satin green shirt. It's like a teal green. The camera is not doing it justice. It is so thick, like the quality, you can really feel the quality in this. I don't know how to describe it. I saw the model wearing it like this or someone wearing it like this, so I decided to wear it like this. Um, you can always untuck it and look like that, but I decided to tuck it in because it looks kind of cute that way. Absolutely love this. It's so soft. It's so silky and it's one of my favorites, definitely. Okay, so this is a side note, but one of the girls that was working there told me that the stuff in like this material, I got the other blue top, it's very durable. She said she washes it a lot and it still looks brand new, so that is really exciting. And I filmed the rest of the outfits for the TikTok, by the way. Okay, so I just wanted to sit down and talk about like my experience and like how my visit was and everything like that. So absolutely loved it. The shop was like beautiful and so many of the girls like were very helpful and like told me that there, there was a sale going on, which I love getting attention at stores because I feel like I'm getting help, which I need all the help I can get when I'm shopping. I personally like that. I like the personal shopper experience vibe, kind of like what you would get at like Nordstrom or Neiman Marcus or Bloomingdale's because I like that one-on-one, -on -one, which you don't get at other stores. So um, that's probably like also why you're paying a lot when you shop at stores like uh, Aritzia and like different higher end stores because of the service you get as well when you're shopping So I absolutely love that the quality of the clothes like you can feel like I will probably have this top for at least like four or five years so Well, I have most of my clothes for a long time. So that's why I don't really mind Spending a lot because I do know I'm going to keep these things for a long time I genuinely feel like they're good quality so just like wearing the shirt, such good quality. I know it's not gonna fall apart on me. Everything's just so soft and um, definitely I feel like it'll hold up. If not, we'll see and I'll make a review video. Um, next up, I wanted to talk about like the dressing rooms. So if you are a little more self-conscious when like trying on clothes or being in front of people when you're trying on the clothes, uh, maybe bring a friend or your mom or your dad or your sister because you have to like go out into like the open hearth area to look at yourself in the mirror because there's no mirrors in the dressing rooms. So just know that and be aware that you might be in front of people. And if you're wearing something like too small or too big, you might feel a little uncomfortable or self-conscious. So I just wanted to tell you about that as well. But overall, I had a great experience and leave in the comments down below, guess how much I spent at Aritzia because I l went over my budget a little bit, but it's okay because I love everything that I got and I know that I'll wear everything I got. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have you guys ever shopped at Aritzia? I would love to know. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more fun videos and adventures in my life. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.